What's up, everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Someone's Listening Podcast. Like I said before, someone or somebody is always listening, all right? I appreciate you guys for smashing that like button, guys. Like I said, every video I drop, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. I welcome all the new people who just joined the channel. We're going to be building this channel up. And coming out with great content for you guys in today. Now, I'm just to let you guys know, I'm gonna be covering everything. I'm covering hip hop, I'm covering world news, I'm covering everything, right? We ain't shying away from ish, okay, on this channel. But now, this is a old. It's not a. It's an old story, right? And I'm bringing this up because you know it's a lot of guys that has been lied on, right? And you know, a lot of times when people have been lied on and have the police called on you or stuff like that, and you know, you kind of wonder, well, if someone accused somebody and there's no evidence or nothing, and it's he say, she say, and then the person find out to be wrong, nothing really ever happens to the the person who's accusing, right? So we got a, a story of a football player, a, 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 a football, well, I think it's on the way to be a, a football star, who was wrongly convicted of the hard R word, rhymes with tape, <laughs> All right, you guys can see it right here. All right, sexually assaulting, right? We're just going to say the word sexual assaulting. Was football star Brian Banks wrongly convicted of sexual assault, right? The, the legal ordeal of a California high school football star who turned into a meme that misrepresented key detail of the case. Now I'm bringing this case back, guys, because I'm bringing it, this is. They said it's an old case, but um, this happened back in 2002, and he was wrongly convicted. The girl straight up lied on Brian Banks. Straight up lied on him, accusing him of of. Tape. I'm just gonna say the word tape instead of the R word, right? Of tape, because I don't want to sound like keep saying the R word. He was she she accused him of the strong of tape. You know, I'm just what she accused him of rape. All right, let's go ahead and say it. It is what it is. She that, she accused him of that. All right, she accused him of the hard R word, right? So, uh, he spent five years in prison. And she was awarded $1.5 million. But check this out, y'all. <laughs> oh, you going you to love this. So, I, already, I watched the video, right? Of course, I'm going to leave the video in the description, right? We're we going to read a little bit as we go along, but I'm, I'm basically going to tell you what happened in the video, right? Or you can go watch the video for yourself. <sighs> Call it a bittersweet Call it bittersweet. A high school football star who was once one of the most highly sought after athletes in the nation has had a hard R charge against him drop after the woman. So I guess, you, you know, it cuts off right there. After the woman, or it continues, my fault, claim star football player Brian Banks who was convicted of taping a woman who confessed on Facebook that she fabricated her accusations after serve after he served six years in prison. What's true? Banks was convicted of tape in 2002 after served five years in prison as a part of a plea agreement before his accuser recanted he was set free. What false? Banks served five years and two months in prison, not six years. 
Okay, I guess it is showing you, I guess it was true or false. He served five years in prison. Five years and two months in prison. Um, uh, let me continue. Uh, Banks entered into a plea agreement after a former high school student classmate of his told a, uh, a story about Banks having dragged her into a stairwell and sexually assaulted her. Uh, she recanted years later. Got what? Bro, it's right here. $1.5 million. Let me read this, y'all. This, this is going to piss y'all off. Banks still doesn't know her reasoning for selling him down the river when he knew they never had sex and there was no DNA trace on her underwear. Maybe it was the 1.5 she collected from the Long Beach school system claiming it was unsafe environment. The city was trying to recruit. The city is trying to recruit the 2.6 million from her now. Banks think maybe Gibson was afraid her older sister who went to the same high school would find out she made out with him and told his mother, tell her mother, on that he would brag to friends maybe she thought it would just be a suspended. So he would just be suspended. He didn't think she was trying to put him in jail. Also thinks also he thinks Perhaps a school security guard saw her leaving the stairwell with him, asked what she was doing if it if she had wanted to. Oh well then he sexually assaults you, Banks assumed the guard said. Man Y'all she she accused Banks of sexually assaulting her back in two thousand two. Knowing she was lying. Knowing this never happened. But see, then her trifling, nasty ass got $1.5 freaking million dollars that her and her raggedy ass family spent and blew all the damn money. Her... Y'all, they... The man spent five years in prison. With the top tier football, all that's gone. All that's gone, right? All that is it just is just gone. The one point million dollars that trifling helper got is gone. But let me tell you what happened with her. So, find out, made out. Okay, don't really know. Got the class. The ordeal gonna became the subject of the film for a future film. Okay, the ordeal garnered national attention and be, be, and, be, and and because. And become the subject of a feature film, but memes online mis uh, misrepresent several details in the circumstances surround circumstances surrounding his wrongful imprisonment for uh, uh, a sexual assault. So I guess this was the meme. I guess this was the meme. Call it a bittersweet high school football star who was once one of the most highly sought after athletes in the nation has. He has had a hard R charge against him drop after a woman confessed on Facebook that the R word never happened. Brian Banks, who now is 26 years old, spent six, was well, really five years in prison and broke down crying in the, at, when the prosecutor moved to have the case dismissed. Man, this is a sad situation, y'all. They saying that she ended up serving. I'm trying to I'm trying to see what happened with her. True Banks considered strong. Y'all, he was the top football play play in the nation at the time. Could have went to the NFL, but all that got robbed by a nasty, trifling, dirty, disgusting ass woman. And see, this happens all the time. Look, yes, women get sexually assaulted. Yes, yes, women get taken advantage of by some clown. We get that, all right? But at the same time, you still got trifling ass women. And, and, and for the women, let me go ahead and say, well, 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 men do it too. Yeah, we know men do it too. But right now, this story is about women. When I find a story about a man doing some trifling ish with a woman, I will bring that to your attention. But for right now, we're talking about a, a, this, this trifling helper here. 
This guy got his opportunity robbed from him. Spent five years in prison. It don't matter. And I don't want to hear, well, you know, he going to get paid. He going to get paid. That money can't help. help. I mean, okay, yeah, he's 26 years old now. But he's he wasted five years. Well, five years of his life was wasted and robbed from him. The, the money he get now, which ain't going to be much because the money he is going to get, the lawyer's going to take most of that anyway. But the money he do get, it's not going to be able to replace five years of a potential what he could have been now. He could have been a, a, an amazing football player in the league right now. He could have been at the Super Bowl right now. But he had that robbed and taken from him because of a trifling helper. Robbed him of the opportunity. Like I said, man, no DNA, they just want to lock up a black man. This is why I tell y'all, y'all men, you black men out here, you better be careful. You better be careful who you who you having sex with. You better be careful who you out here hanging out, hanging around. You better be careful uh, 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 of the people you invite in your life. Because there's people out there who don't give a damn about you. There's people out there who want to see your downfall. There are the people out there who don't care nothing about you. You think they're your friends. They could be family. It doesn't matter. They will, especially uh, if you got something going like how he had. The man had, had it going for him. But see, that's what happens when haters and selfish ass people come into your life and they get bitter and jealous and they and they can't take it. So they try to they try to do stuff to rob you of your downfall, y'all. This stuff happens all the time. You young men, you better be careful. Now I'm young myself. I'm only uh 35 years old. Right? And look, that I got lied on. I, I quick story. I was dating a chick years this is a long time ago. I was dating a girl, and we we she was kind of she had some some issues, right? You know we ain't gonna we ain't gonna get into it. She had some issues, right? Which I and look, I'm gonna go ahead and take responsibility on that, right? I knew she had issues, but I still chose to date her, right? I still chose to give her a chance, right? So. I'm going to take the responsibility on that. Now, it's not my responsibility that I got lied on, but I'm going to take the responsibility. You know what? I should have been messing around her anyway. Sometimes you got to take responsibility. Now, I'm not saying he should have took responsibility because this is a totally different situation. What I'm saying is the certain people you got around you, you know they foul. You know they got problems. You know they're not good for you. You know they're trying to, they trying to uh, knock another guy off or knock another girl off. You know they're trying to get with another dude's girl or, or do some trifling ish to somebody else or whatever. And you see that, but you told, but you, well, now that's my dog. I'm going to ride with him. I'm down with him. And you, but when it comes to happen to you, though, you see what I'm saying? Some people, some of y'all people y'all got around you know they foul. And some of them, some people you got around you, you don't know if they foul or not. Let me see if I can let my seat up. You, you may not know they foul or not, but I had a female who lied on me. I never forget it, right? I was laying in my bed. I was living at my parents' house at the time. I was laying in the bed, chilling. You know how you laying in your bed, you chilling. You know you you know you in and out of sleep, looking stupid. That's you know regular stuff, right? I get a phone call from the girl, and I did no. I was asleep. My fault. Let me take that back. I was in and out of sleep. Right? So I got the phone call, but I had missed the phone call. Right? So it was a voicemail on my phone. So I checked the voicemail. It was her mama. And her mama the whole time was, you can hear her in the background talking. Right? And, um, just, and so what he did to you? What he, what he did what? He did what? He did what? Lying on me and my friends said, yeah, me and my friends came in and did this. And whoop, whoop, whoop. She never even, well, she met my friends, but we never all hung out together like that. And it was a total lie. I woke up. I told my parents about it. And um, um, uh, I, didn't, I didn't do nothing that night. I didn't call her nothing. She called me the next day. <clears throat> and she told me it was all a lie. She was just upset because I broke up with her. And she was mad. So uh, what I did was um, after I heard it on the phone. I think I had it recorded. Yeah, I had it recorded, right? I had the phone call recorded. So she, I had the phone call recorded, and she admitted that she lied. And she just like, you know, I lied, yada, yada, yada. You know, I'm sorry, yada, 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 yada. Then we was texting, 
She said it in a text message that she lied. So I had it on voice, I had it on the phone, and I had it in text message that she was lying, right? Now, I, I told her at the time, I said, look, you know, I'm not going to uh, go to the police or do anything or press charges on you, child, you know, but I stopped fooling with her. I don't talk to her no more. I cut her off, and I moved on with my life, right? So, what I'm saying to you guys is, man, this, this type of, don't laugh, man. This stuff can happen to anybody. And it's sad, man. You got trifling ass people like this, man. You got sorry ass people like that. I believe they said she ended up in jail. I believe. Now, they don't, they said they don't know she's going to be able to pay that money back. She better pay that money back. She should be able to, now, like I said, this happened back a long time ago. But she should, she should pay that money back and her ass should be locked up. But I, I got I don't know if she's been locked up. And I think she was. Um, I, in June, in June 2013, Gibson was ordered to buy the Los Angeles Superior Court judge to repay the 1.5 million settlement awarded from her for her separate lawsuit against the Long Beach. 1.1 million fees claiming in a safe environment when Gibson fabricated the account assaulted such as the 12 report. I'm trying to see if she was locked up. Uh, doesn't I gotta read more into this see if she was locked up in that thing for water sexual assault. I stand for your person. You said, uh, in December 2007, he said, so. Uh, no, no matter how much money he get, it's not going. It's not going to matter. He lost five years of his life, y'all. It's not going to matter. Uh, and then <clears throat> this helper, this raggedy ass helper, spent up all the money. They said when they when they got it in the office, she left in the bus. So all that money she did get, she came. She she blew it all. She blew it. You ain't got all. You ain't got nothing. Buy, you know what I'm saying? Just dumb. Just, man, look. It's sad, y'all. But this stuff happens all the time. Let me know if you heard of this story. But let me tell y'all, man. This is a cautionary tale. Y'all be careful. Be careful. I was just talking to one of my homeboys uh, yesterday. And I was telling him how we were talking about, when we went to high school together, we were talking about certain people we, we, we still talk to, some people we don't talk to, some people we, you know, we cut off, that type of stuff. And I was literally, he was bringing up a girl that I knew. And I, I literally told him, I said, oh, yeah, I don't fool with her. I said, that's the type of chick that'll, that'll get you in trouble, that'll get you locked up. I said, you got to stay away from them type of people. You got to, man, you got to learn how to stay away from type of people. Keep certain people away from you, man. I'm telling you, it's for your own peace. Your own peace. You got to do it. Because there's people out here who don't give a damn about you, who don't care nothing about you, man. And that's some real stuff for your ass. It's your boy, Slim William. Back with another episode of the Somebody Listening or Someone's Listening Podcast. I appreciate it, guys. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And when working, but trying to get better on these videos, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Leave a comment. Let's talk. I will holler at you guys later. Peace.